What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. I'm Steve Fass and it is about 5 in the morning and we have the Camaro in the trailer and we're headed to JTM Motorsports. So over here in Pennsylvania we have no power. They say we're not going to have power until probably late Monday sometime and it's like 32 degrees so it's pretty amazing to have no heat in your house. I can't feel my fingers anymore. I lied. They're, they're, they're numb. My generator basically doesn't run anything the way it's set up. It's kind of it's kind of stupid, but we're going to have to try to figure something better out with that situation. But for now, let's go get the cartoon. So, backing down the big trailer with the big truck down the windy driveway that's about the same width as the trailer, yeah, it's a lot harder to do in the dark by yourself. So, we did it. We got there. I might have tore up the grass just a little bit, but either way, we're off to Long Island. All right, we made it to West Sea Shop. I got everything in the trailer all checked out. Straps are all tight and everything like that. So, if you guys want to bring your car to West Sea Shop to get it worked on, he's the kind of guy that'll wake up at 5 in the morning and take your car to the tuner. Jesus Christ, right? you scared me, brother. <laughs> 5 in the morning, West, you'll take your car to the tuners, right? That's right. All right, trying to get out of the wind for a minute, but uh, actually yesterday we had like some of the worst winds I've ever seen. Like my basketball hoop got knocked over and actually dented my wife's hood on her truck. It was pretty insane. And yeah, we had power pretty much all day, but by the time I got home in the evening, we had no power at all. There's a bunch of trees down, our whole area is out. They said we're not even gonna have power till, like I said earlier, till like Monday night sometime. So yeah, it's not a good situation. I woke up, we had no furnace or anything like that. So yeah, not, not a good situation whatsoever, but it seems like the winds have died down somewhat. So hopefully our trip to Long Island is gonna be a good one. And uh, we're gonna have Westy driving. He just ran into the store to grab something and uh, he knows where we need to go. So I'm just gonna ride shotgun and film a little bit. So it should be a good time. So y'all fresh and ready to go? Yeah, you wanna sniff it up. <laughs> so Long Island round two, round dos. We gotta go this time. We gotta go uh, Brooklyn Queens Expressway. We can't take the parkway because we got this big rig. Not allowed on parkways. So we're headed through Brooklyn and Queens. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> We did not cut him off. We stopped him from cutting us off, and he was not happy about it. So. My right foot prevented him from cutting us off. Yeah, he wasn't happy about it. Gave him a little bit of Cummins fury, and uh, yeah, his Toyota just didn't have what it took. It was about this close to him testing his crash test rating. Finish him. <laughs> Flawless victory. Fatality. <laughs> I would have never left in the Gone. We got shit to do. That's right. We have a car to do. 
<laughs> nice. That thing turned out awesome. Well, we made it to JTM Motorsports. It's time to get the car unloaded, get it over to the dyno, and get this car tuned. So, let's get it out of the trailer. Big power today? Probably not. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we drove all this way for nothing. It's all good. So, what's your thoughts on the Chevelle? The Chevelle's pretty bitching. I love the drive of Chevelle. It's got we a bit of poke and attitude. It does. Yeah. That's, a, that's my favorite part about it. It's even more incredible with the snow plow on it. I don't know. It'd probably be pretty menacing with the snow plow on it. Yeah. Especially the if you car have like. Is actually sitting up over the snow plow. <laughs> I'd like to see that. That would be pretty awesome. I'd like chrome out the plow. Yeah. Oh, I put big so teeth on it. <laughs> yeah. Like a big, big mouth. Put like a fighter pilot, like yeah. eyes, like like that. dyno day without having some sort of problem we have a cylinder 6.8 misfire which could be something to do with a plug I was really careful when I put the plugs in but there's always something can happen when you're dealing with kind of getting things done in a rush and whatever else so we're just gonna pull the plugs right now and check them make sure that nothing's wrong with them and troubleshoot a little bit further all right so after thinking to myself that I might have failed and cracked a plug it turns out that they're actually just fuel fouled because of the tune that was in the car everything was just coked up and just not a good situation for doing a dyno pull. So we are putting a brand new set of plugs in. We can start right from zero with a new tune and everything should be good to go. So Chris, we're gonna hit some big numbers now. Oh yeah, we're gonna make like 600 out of this setup. If I make 600, I'll be pretty happy.
<laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Chris. Appreciate it. Awesome right. job on the tune. Drive is awesome. Thank you. Can't wait to play with it and uh, totally beat on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be coming back next time with a lot more mods done and we can make some real numbers. Oh, yeah, so. make some killer power next time. Absolutely. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, John, always a pleasure. Thanks, brother. Thank Anytime, you. man. Anytime. Car sounds great. Can't wait to take it to the track now. And it's going to be long. fun, and that's uh, stage one, and yeah. stage two is. Absolutely. Uh, How many stages are we going to go? Oh, uh, dude, as many as you want. <laughs> stage two, let's just let's skip to stage, stage, stage 10. Stage 5X. Yeah. Absolutely. Stage 10 will be fun. Absolutely, man. Anytime. I right on. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure, man. It's a pleasure. So the final number is we meet 526 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque, which is a good safe number. We should be able to go out and race, have some fun with it. There's plenty more room to move on this car. We just got to kind of throw a little bit more parts at it, build it up so it can handle the power, which we will be doing, but probably not until next year. But the Vortex Supercharger performed very, very well. The guys here at JTM Motorsports definitely know exactly what they're doing and spent a lot of time making sure that everything was right on this car. So big thanks to Chris and John at JTM Motorsports. Definitely check them out for all your automotive performance needs. So if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and keep that hammer down. Oh,